Hey guys and welcome to another character spotlight video. Today we are looking at the chairman of Duff Bury and the owner slash manager of the Duff Stadium and Springfield Isotopes, Howard K. Duff the 8th or 7th, depending which episode you watched. He is of course voiced by Stacey Keach. This is another character who appears in more than two episodes, so just like with Dave Shutton, I'm only going to be highlighting Howard's main appearances, and then just list his cameos. Howard K. Duff actually first appeared in Season 12's Hungry Hungry Homer. In the episode, Homer tries to get a refund for Lenny, and meets Howard K. Duff, the 8th, in his office, but he flat out refuses to give Homer the refund. Homer tries to ask him to get something to eat as well, but Howard ain't having that either. Homer though exits through the wrong door and sees that Howard is planning to move the Springfield Isotopes to Albuquerque. Howard tries to lie to Homer about the plan and then offers Homer a beer with a sedative that makes beer super malty. But before Homer can try that super malty beer, Duffman comes in with the jab. He didn't even try that super super malty beer. Howard does though, he seems to like it. Homer soon remembers and gathers some press to show them Howard's secret room, but he's obviously moved all the stuff. And he makes Homer look mad. On the TV, he clears the air again with Kent and lies about moving the team, and later Howard and Duffman see Homer on a straw hunger strike and decide to exploit this by moving Homer to the pitch. Sometime after, Marge tries to reason with Howard K. Duff, and they say that he'll be fine, clearly lying again. After Homer begins to talk to himself, they decide to move him out and replace him. Howard brings Homer to the mic and offers him some food to end his strike. But Homer remembers what he's here for and exposes Howard's plan to the crowd. Duffman then turns on his boss and deals with him in the correct manner. Awesome. Howard appears again in Old Yellow Belly. After seeing Dave Shutton's snap of Santa's little helper balancing the Duff can on his nose, he wants him as his new mascot. He fires Duffman and it's strange he didn't do that when he betrayed him in his last appearance. Howard comes to sign the contract with Santa's little helper and Howard is more of a neutral character in this episode and gives the Simpsons their royalties for uh, Santa's little helper's mascotting. But when Les, Santa's Little Helper's original owner, comes in, Howard is forced to hand them to him instead. Howard hosts an event later with Santa's Little Helper. After Homer pretends to drown, Santa's Little Helper doesn't save Homer, though, making Howard reconsider. After seeing Duff McShark, though, he names him Duff McShark and has him as his new mascot. In Marge and Homer turn a couple play, Howard has a brief appearance complaining about the audience ruining his doll night and instructs Duffman to turn on the kiss cam. Howard shows up again to look for a new Duffman in season 26's Waiting for Duffman. Howard doesn't allow the winner to be uh, this guy though because he has a tattoo and he gives the mantle to Homer instead. He then tells Homer to take the oath. Howard gives a tour of the place and tells Lisa about Duff's secret formula, and Marge brings up it's something Homer shouldn't be doing because of the fact that Duff is promoting drinking to children. He then reveals to Homer that the Duffman cannot drink, to Homer's horror. That's a retcon and a half because Duffman was drunk in the last appearance. Howard sees sales have gone up since Homer was hired, and Homer switches the beer at the Springfield Speedway, and Howard asks Homer why the hell would he do that? Howard gives him one last warning, telling him to prove he still loves beer. Oh, and it also turns out there was never a chip. I guess it wasn't a retcon. At the end of the episode, Howard goes to recruit Duffman once more. Then, that is it for Howard K. Duff's main appearances. Here is the list of all of his minor cameo appearances, here. His most recent appearance to date was in Bart's Not Dead, where he is seen sitting in the audience for the film based on Bart seeing heaven, as you can see, circled here. So, when was Howard K. Duff added to Tapped Out? Well, Howard was first added as the fifth prize in the 2018 event Homer vs. the 18th Amendment. In the main quest line, Howard is present and he complains about his lack of sales now Duff is illegal. Well, alcohol's illegal. And he teams up with Arpu to sell Duff Puff. He then sponsors the St. Patrick's Day Parade and gives out the Duff Puff at the parade. 
He also has his four-part character questline. In that, he goes on vacation, and it's revealed by Lindsay Nagel that he's not a part of the real Duff family. He's actually a fake Duff. And he tries to turn his fans around, which he successfully does. It's not a bad questline, to be honest. I like how they played on this Duff family legacy. Howard was re-added in No Books Given for 60 Donuts. So, let's have a look at his tasks and animations. So, Howard has two animations and a bunch of non-animated tasks. So, let's look at those. So, he has the standard four-hour task of tasks of overpay for sex on the beach, stay at the Swalado, try and win at blackjack, and drink and babysit, and attend parenting seminars. He also has the standard eight-hour dance the senior burns. He has a few non-animated unique ones as well, such as... Observe direct purchases for 60 minutes, observe communal product use for 12 hours, and oversee commercial filming for 24 hours. He has two animated tasks, the first of which is save his job, so let's have a look at that. Meh. It's fine, I guess. Nothing too special, though. His other animated task is give out free samples. That requires the Duff float. So, let's have a look. Pretty decent. I like it a lot. But none of his animations are direct lifts from the show, which is a tiny bit disappointing. So, that's Howard K. Duff. A fairly solid character overall, nothing too amazing about him, but nothing that's like grossly offensive. So, let's go on to scoring him. So, 10 points are available for the character translation into the game. For this, I give Howard K. Duff a 5 out of 10, because honestly, the episode that they based the update on was not an episode where Howard really showed up, but at the very least, it made sense because it was alcohol-related. Also, the quest line for me didn't feel like Howard K. Duff. I liked it, but it didn't have that spark of his character. Another 10 points are added for the way the character was added. For this, I give Howard a 7 out of 10. He's free originally, so I can't complain there, but like I said before, he didn't feel completely in place here. A further 10 points are allocated for tasks, questline, and animations. I didn't mind his questline, it was fine, but one of his animations is a bit dull. The other one, though, is pretty awesome, although it is a unique one. Would have liked to have something a little more interested for the non-animated ones, though. And of course, as mentioned, it would have been cool to see something lifted from the show. So overall, for this, I'm going to give Howard K. Duff a 6 out of 10. I think that's fair. Another 10 points are awarded for the look and unique features of the character. For this, I give Howard a solid 5 out of 10. He doesn't have voice, nor does he have any unique features. He's translated pretty well in terms of his look, but... This is something I was unsure where to put, but, but basically, if you unlock Howard in the No Books Given event, then you don't get the second Give Out Free Samples animation, or Give Out Samples animation, as that requires the Duff Float, and it was never re-added with him. I decided to deduct, to deduct a point here for that. So overall, Howard K. Duff gets a pretty sad 23 out of 40. I like the character in the show, but he wasn't translated as well as I would have hoped, for The Simpsons Tapped Out. Anyway, tell me your thoughts on Howard. Do you think my score was a bit mean? Maybe. And let's spin the wheel to Sue. See who's next. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, that's loud. Fernando Vidal is the character that we're going to be doing. Alright, that's fine. 